Hey, we also want to remember one of the world's most famous architects who called St. Louis his home. Gio Obata passed away last year at the age of 99, but his imprint can be seen absolutely everywhere. Among his most iconic designs, the Abbey Church at St. Louis Priory, the Planetarium, and the Eagleton Courthouse. He also designed the National Air and Space Museum for the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. Obata was born in San Francisco in 1923 and came to St. Louis to attend Washington University just before the rest of his family was sent to a Japanese internment camp during World War II. Wash U at the time was one of only two schools accepting Japanese American students. One of my grandfather's friends who was a colonel in the army came to the house and said, here's a pass to get out tonight on a train if you've been accepted. So my dad left that night and the next day everybody was rounded up to go to internment camps. It's a cr crazy story. I mean, you just can't even imagine that happening, you know, in the United States. In 1955, Obata created a local architect firm, Hoke, along with his partners, George Heldmuth and George Castlebaum. Because of his significant contribution, he was inducted into the St. Louis Walk of Fame in 1992. Now, mm -hmm. when he passed away last year, we did the story on him, yes. and I had no idea so many places, iconic places mm -hmm. in St. Louis, were designed by him. I know. It's really incredible. It's incredible, actually, to know that we have a lot of rich Asian American history mm -hmm. in this city dating back from like the 1800s. Yeah. But a lot of people are reclaiming and, and discovering that as well. So he's left a huge legacy. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. time to shine that light. Let yeah. everybody know. Yeah.